Actually, I don't even know if I've asked your name. No, what was your Jody. name? Jodie. <laughs> yeah, I've made a friend, but I've not bothered to ask her name because that's how polite I am to people. Hi guys, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is a daily vlog um, with a bit of a difference. I have been invited into London by Channel Mum, who I will leave linked down below. You might have already heard of them from other more well-known mummy vloggers, um, but they've invited me to go and watch a private screening of the film Tully, um, which I will also leave information to linked down below. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you along with me. We're just going to drop Rosie off at my mum's and then I'm gonna go get the train. Um, I think they're providing us with a breakfast when we get there as well, so yeah, it's been a bit of a manic start, but it should be a good day. The sun's out, so feeling good. How are you feeling, Jack? He's got to go to I'm work. Tired. He's tired. He's got to go to work. Rosie was up, like, basically all night, so that's the kind of night we had. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with me today. We love you guys. <laughs> Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls You're looking like a movie star But I don't know just what Okay guys, I've just got the train I'm in Covent Garden I need to get my bearings because I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be walking to But I've got a coffee So it's feeling a little bit fresher now After my night awake with Rosie um, so yeah, now to try and find the Universal offices because that's where they're doing the private screening of the film Tully for us. And every disco, ooh, so you say you're loving somebody else That I am only for tonight Yeah, you say you're gone and still you're in my bed You're loving how I read your mind so Hey guys, I made it and I've made a friend over there <laughs> I don't even know if I've asked your name. No, what was your name? Jodie. <laughs> yeah, I've made a friend, but I've not bothered to ask her name because that's how polite I am to people. So yeah, we've made it. There's breakfast. We're the first two here because we're eager beavers. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into the food once other people arrive, I think. <laughs> You've got me in a kind of dream. The baddest one I've ever seen. I just, um, I didn't eat it. So I need to find some food before I get the train back and then I get to go see my little girl. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I'll go grab a prep because I don't have a prep back in Dunstable. So here we go, prep a manger. So now is the tough decision, deciding what to have. Oh, here's my little train lunch. This is falafel, flatbread, some vegetable crisps and some green tea with peach. Right, I'm off the train, as you might be able to hear, and I'm in the shade right now, granted, but the sun has come out, and I am blooming hot in this jacket. I've got like a black leather jacket on, and it is not black leather jacket weather. Ugh. Leona? Yes? Back at it again, in the vlog. In the vlog, as always. Hair's not as bright this time though. No, I'm starting to turn into an old lady again. It's going great. It's going great. Oh dear. <laughs> Back at it again with the purple hair. <laughs> a monkey. Are you having a quick photo shoot? Um, yes. Hello, monkey. <laughs> Up, up, up in a painted car. Okay, 
Okay, I'm back home with this one and the baby who is down there and we don't want to cook partly because we've not done a big food shop for like over two weeks now um, and partly because we just can't be bothered to cook so we're treating ourselves to a takeaway but we're now having the uh, what do we have moment where we can't decide what you fancy Anyone else have this issue? Literally, we have it every time and then we usually end up ordering from the same so place nice. So but good. no, we're gonna get something different. No, we won't. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? No? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here then. What shall we eat? I just don't know. <sighs> what do you think, Rosie? What shall we eat? You've had your dinner. Oh, you're saying hi. Hello. Rosie's had her dinner. She had it at her nanny's. We just don't know what we're gonna have. I'm kind of thinking either like Indian or Chinese or pizza or chicken or... Ugh. <laughs> You're right down there. Oh, that smell. Right, so guys, we've got a smell in our fridge. We can't figure out what it is, so we're taking everything out, but cleaning know, the fridge. But do they know our secret ingredient? Oh, uh, what, what we use to clean it? Zoflora. <coughs> yeah, we've got Zoflora. What's in that one, the grapefruit? Yeah, oh, grapefruit. So yeah, it stinks. I reckon it was with the open can of cannellini beans that I have here. It's still, it's still there though. Yeah, but it the smells, smells it's because it doesn't get to air it's out, else. does it? It's a fridge. It's else. Mm. What are your favourite so floral? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, man. I'm no vlogger. <laughs> you are? Oh. Also, guys, we settled on Chinese food. We've not had a Chinese takeaway for ages, have we? I don't think. Have we ever had one in the flat? Yeah, bad one. Mustard. I, I don't think we have. I don't think we've ever had one in the flat, and we've been here over a year now. So this is like momentous. It's momentous. Yeah, we've had it at your mum's usually, haven't we? Yeah, nowhere else. So yeah, exciting times. But first, we're going to clean the fridge. Sharing mango with daddy. We're having a kitchen floor picnic. Delicious. Is that meal for two? This could feed a family of like four. Or Jack. <laughs> I think. Is this a big enough portion? Or I have already eaten one spring roll as well. Not quite a healthy dinner, but could be worse, I suppose. <laughs> I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you? Day. 
Hi guys, okay, so it is the next day. Um, Jack is currently bathing Rosie, so I thought it'd be a good time for me to come on and have a little chat about the film um, that I went to see yesterday with Channel Mum called Tully. Um, you might have seen the adverts for it. If you haven't, I will try and put a link to the trailer down below. It is out in cinema um, for everyone to see by the time this video is live on my channel. So if you're a mum like me, or even if you're not a mum, it is definitely something to go and watch. I've never seen a film that has portrayed motherhood in such a raw and real and relatable way before, particularly for mums who breastfeed. Um, the mother in the film, she does breastfeed and it highlights some really relatable things um, for me and that was one thing that um, really helped me to like connect with the film. Another thing, this film really does highlight um, maternal mental health, which is one of the topics this month on Channel Mum, so it was very fitting that we went to see it um, yesterday. It just highlights how even though someone might seem like they've got everything together on the outside, particularly like mums on YouTube, like I'm sure sometimes you guys might watch me or other mums and you think, wow, she's really got her together, you know, and she's coping really well and sometimes things just aren't what they seem on the outside. Um, I don't want to give too much away because it's, there is like a twist in the film and I don't want to like spoil anything. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a good time to sort of have a little chat about it. I think it is it is one that touched, um, pulled on the heartstrings of a lot of people that were watching the film. There was different parts where I was feeling emotional, there was parts that made other people feel emotional, like all like this big room of mums all watching this film, we all connected to different parts of the film in different ways. Um, so yeah, definitely one to go and watch, I'd highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, and it just also made me think as well how lucky I am to have such like a hands-on partner helping me with Rosie, to have such a supportive family helping me with Rosie. Um, I am very lucky that I get a lot of help um, when I need it, if I ask for it. And something that I had to learn after the first few weeks of struggling on was to learn to ask for help. And once I learned to do that, once I learned to say to people I'm struggling, I could use someone coming round and like giving me a little bit of help or, you know, just asking for some support. Once I started to do that, things just got so much easier. I don't know why as mums think that we have to be so proud and we have to do everything all by ourselves when really we don't. There's the saying it takes a village to raise a child and you might as well tap into that village. Um, what a segue, tap into the channel mum village. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, it just, it got me thinking. It's a film that really makes you think, um, really, there's nothing more I can say about it, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, check out the trailer to the film down below. It's definitely one that I'd recommend you go and watch, particularly if you're a mother. Get your partners to watch it too, because it might open their eyes to some of the struggles that us mothers go through. Um, so yeah, leave any comments down below, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already, I'd love to see you around here again, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! I just wanna love you, I just wanna